Well, hello, 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 everybody. And when I say everybody, it looks like there's a, you know, a handful of viewers on one platform or another. I'm Jamie Chambers. Uh, in my former life, I was a professional tabletop game designer. I have a bunch of credits to my name. You can look me up on Amazon, Goodreads, or go to my webpage, jamiechambers.net. But um, tonight, we are going to continue um, my exploration of the Temple of Elemental Evil. So this is a classic D&D Mega Dungeon co-created by Gary Gygax that is like a missing spot in my gamer resume. I never did it with the tabletop version, and I've heard about this. This game, uh, the PC version of Temple of Elemental Evil, came out in 2003, and it's kind of notorious as, in some ways, uh, being considered inferior to games that came out around the same time. However, it gets, like, high marks for the tactical combat, specifically because... People say it is the most accurate depiction of Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 ever done. And I actually was one of the early people outside of Wizards of the Coast to get to uh, <clears throat> design and write for D&D 3.5. So at least I know something about it if I can filter out the many other versions of d and I've played in my head. So anyway, uh, I have actually recreated a bunch of my old uh, dead characters from... Gaming experience going all the way back to 1982 when I was seven years old. So, um, but instead of me running my mouth for too much longer, I, we can just go ahead and get the game going. Let's see. And fireball. And here we are. So, where last we left off. The game crashed, or right at the end of a nasty encounter with some bandits. So uh, I'm just going to load up from the last save I can get to and, and see where we're at. Cheers. I want to make sure I've got my uh, epic fail beer glass for everybody. Alright, let's see where we're at. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not want the tutorial. That was a mistake. Load game, I said. So, yeah, I guess because that auto save got written over, so I'll just have to see where we're at here and go for it. So, right now I'm outside in a Hamlet. I'm wondering where this save was from. Let me. Let's look at the the log, the quests and such. So we're trying to, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the village of Hamlet. Some like side quest errands for locals and stuff. Let's see here. So we're trying to hook up two locals, a widow and a widower. We're trying to kill some spiders in Declo Grove. Okay. Except, wait, didn't I already kill those? I just need to go and tell him about it. We've already completed that stuff. Clear the Moat House. The Moat House is the first, sort of like the starter dungeon that really gets this thing going. And uh, I want to be at least second level before we get there. As you can see, I got a pack of first level characters. So I think before I'll do anything else, I might as well um, go to the woodcutter's place. Which I don't know exactly. Yeah, or Woodcutter's Cottage. Uh huh. Well, I've certainly been there, but that isn't very helpful. I should have uh, tagged the place. Let's see. There we go. That's the Woodcutter's Cottage. Easy enough. Do, 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 as everybody makes their way down here so we can talk to this guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Try to talk to followers currently. Near, yeah, that's not going to happen for me because I made sure I don't have followers. Okay. Everybody stop crowding him. 
All right, who wants to do the talking? We'll let uh, the snooty paladin do it. Yes. Hello again, Tarim. I have good news. I managed to kill those spiders for you. They're gone? That's great news. I'll have to get out there right away to get that wood ready for you. I have no idea why he's talking like that all of a sudden. Got time for a few more questions? What can I do for you? Hmm. So what are you gonna, what are you going to do with the Declo wood now? Well, first I'm gonna cut up a, a bunch of it for the carpenter. I might try to replant some of the grove too. It's good to keep a proper balance. I ask him about more spiders to kill. No. My poor wife, Ghana. She's always making more clothes for the children. She spends hours over the weavers. And my youngest, Almi, is always ill. I wish there was a better healing here in Hamlet for her. Healing? We got, like, temples and stuff. Let's see. You should be grateful for your wife. Yes, it's so important for her to keep the children in good clothes. It makes a good impression down in the grove with Jeru, too. You should see how happy it makes her. She comes back aglow. Um, is there anything I can do to help with little Emil? Amy or Amy? I don't know. Um, I think only a full heal would cure her now. I'm really afraid we might lose her, but I'll be damned if I go to that Cuthbert fellow up north. If Jeru can't heal him, no one can as far as I'm concerned. We really love your daughter a lot if you're that picky about who helps her. <clears throat> I am sure Jeru can help. I will talk to him about it. Well... You did all the work for you, and you seem super grateful. Yes. Great. So. We dealt with the woodcutter's problem. Now we got a new quest. You know what? Let's, I'm not sure where we're at. Let me double check what my status is with some of these folks. So. Um, we're good on ammo for you, for you, for you. Everybody with range seems to be doing okay. I don't know what Gabriel's doing with all this extra stuff. <clears throat> so, let's see. Let's go ahead and find out if we... Ah, the meadows. Okay. This is where we went before. And I'm wondering if this got completely written over. I read this last time. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. You can do it. Yes, gentle breezes. Great. Cool. Mm hmm. Yes, this is an old battlefield. You tread upon the land of the dead. Why do 
these little title cards take so long. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Set and insert the extra common options you okay. Oh yeah, okay. So as we get more stuff, we gotta set and unset the combat options for using all of our stuff. So assuming I haven't actually fought anything. Oh wait. Right away. Okay, this is leftover, so we were here before. We already cleared this place out. There's skeletons everywhere, so good. There's that spooky. So we were in the back row. Do you have all your? See if Winston has his spells properly. No, okay, he's got everybody's got their stuff. Hmm. So what we need to do? We've been to the Declo Grove. We've been to the Emerald Meadows, all around here. Yeah, I guess we're gonna head over here to East Hamlet. Ooh, random encounter. Select sneak from the radio menu, make a character less likely to be noticed. Yeah, thanks. All right, so looks like we have here a couple of giant frogs. And first up is Garen, our rogue. He I can do this. Is going to get around. Or I can just position myself right behind him. Great. Can't really do anything else. Sometimes the uh, pathfinding in this is a little funky. Uh, next up, we have Gabriel, the tank. Let's just walk up here and do this. That I can do. Nice. All right, green pea. I want you to step to the side and slingshot this guy. Well, that could have been gone better. Next up, we have our paladin. It's gonna come over here and okay. whack at this guy. Frog trying to get me. Are you adjacent? I can't tell, so I am just going to take a five foot step back and make sure I don't get an attack of opportunity from this thing. As you wish. Before I blast him in the face with some magic missile. Okay. Boom! Take that. And he already moved, so we're done. Alright. Gregor, cleric. Might as well go whale on this frog. As you wish. Whack! Alright. And Sovrak with his bow. Let's try to finish this guy off. Right away. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Now, Monk, whack the frog. Yes. Oop. Yes. And this is just going to be a pretty straightforward right kill the frogs moment. At your service. And. At what? Looks like, yeah, one more hit and this frog's going down. Right away. Like that. Very dead. Excellent. Stupid thing about giant frogs. As you wish. Nothing in the way of loot. At your but I got some experience points. Yeah, where are we at? Oh, 374 experience. We're trying to make second level. So since this is super accurate, I pulled out this. So, because it's been a while, E 
Yeah, we got to go to a thousand experience points to get second level. So we're like a third of the way there. That's and we wanted to get second before we hit the moat house. So we got to get some of these quests resolved. So let us get the hell out of here now that uh, the the threat has passed and head. Head back to South Hollywood. Might as well just take the group back to the hotel, spend the night, and deal with I stuff in the morning. This. As of last game, we now have... Wait, I think that was still the case. Yeah, we can we can rest for free in this place anytime we want now. And I will just keep all my same spells, so we will say until healed. And while we're at it, until morning... Perfect. And <clears throat> speaking of rest, uh, give me just a second, you guys. I have to uh, answer a quick call of nature, but I will be right back.
And I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's get back to it. So everybody's healed up. We are, it's morning time in the lovely village of Hamlet. As you wish. Very famous D and D town. All right. Let's see. Fernock. Okay, so I had actually completed that. with Frank already is somebody talked to him yeah what do you want hey cheater how you doing leave me alone what what are you saying can I come with you no you suck all right so we already dealt with him that's why we got the free room he, he hasn't left town okay he said he was gonna leave town but I guess because he's an optional like hireling all right uh so let's what we need to do start marking things on the town map so for example this is the inn Yes, sir. Let's talk to somebody over here. Yes, sir. There's the wheel. All right, we made it inside. Yes, armor and shields, great. So there's like nobody in here. This is just an empty, you know, super useful place to be. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh huh, the blacksmith. Hi, right, what? Hello, I am Sobrak. Well met, Solvrak. I'm Brother Smith, the village blacksmith. So you are. Do you make armor? Indeed I do. All sorts of metalwork, including helmets and shields. And I buy and sell a wide variety of armor and weapons. Are you a masterwork quality artisan? Why, yes, I'm able to make masterwork arms. Interesting. What do you have for sale? Well, to be honest, you look like the type who just as well do just as well with the toy items. Got a few customers in Verbobonk and elsewhere who can actually use that sort of that special gear, and I don't particularly care to cheat honest folk out of their hard-earned coin for something they'll never use. So maybe it's best for you to stick with our normal stock. Fine, fine. Tell you what, bring me the head of a giant to show me your worth as an adventurer. Now, gladly make my master what gear available to you. Is that fair? Very well. So, do I have. Is that an actual quest? Bring him a giant head? Master work items. Brother Smith doesn't want to sell you master work items. You can change his mind proving it. You need to bring him the head of a giant. Okay, well, that may take a little bit. So, let's go ahead and mark the blacksmith shop right here. Say blacksmith. I think I can figure that part out. All right. So we're picking up a few extra quests and things like that if the hell we're going to be doing while we're here. You're pretty skilled. Yeah, great. Um, we will 
once again let the snooty paladin take over. No, not Gabriel. Man and man. Hey, what? Friend? Wainwright. Oh, there we go. A good day to you. Well met. I am Alexander Swordwraith. What is this shop? I'm Valden, the town wheel and Wainwright. How may I be of service to you? So you make carts and wagons? I can make carts and wagons or repair them. Since Homlet is located on these important crossroads, I get a lot of business. Fortunately, I have my nephews here to help me out. Do you live here too? We live off in the apartment to the side of the barn here. My nephews help me take care of my little daughter, Tamika, too. Are you married then? My wife, Beta, has family in Verbabon. She's accompanied the latest caravan out there and should be arriving soon. In fact, they're already a few days late now. Well, I'm sure there's nothing, nothing suspicious about that at all. I'm sure she's fine with all the bandits and skeletons and stuff. Going to uh, peek around and see if there's anything that you might not need. That looks like no, no such luck. As you wish. I don't think that generated any. Yeah, they're not create a new quest, at least. All right. So let's see, let's mark, let's see, let's go back and mark the map. Um, and so this place was the, uh, the Wainwright. As you wish. Assistant. Okay. Carpenter. Hmm. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Me brother Gruck. Oh good. Gruck is talking. That's always going to make for... For a good conversation. Nice to make your acquaintance there, Brother Gruck. He wipes the sweat off his brow. I am Rick Lincoln, the town carpenter, and I'm kind of busy here at the moment. <clears throat> Philip can need barn. You make for him. Just about everybody's in town needing something from me about now. Come back in a year and I'll see if we can add it to my list then. I get you Declo. You make Filikin Barn. That was your doing? Well, I am indeed de indebted to you then, but I just cannot afford to risk alienating us even further from the townsfolk by delaying their work for this barn you ask of me. Why they think of you as aliens? It just doesn't make any sense. We work harder than any of the folks in town. The stonemason over there, he has got in good. He doesn't do half the work I do. No fair! Rufus and Byrne are already on the town council and they've not been here much longer than us. I just don't understand it. I tell others, you nice guy. I think it's Ger that Jeru fellow is spreading lies about us new St. Cuthbert folk. He may say he likes a balance, but I think he'd just as soon see us leave town. Now perhaps if we all convert to the old faith, Merrick would like... <sighs> yes, go on. Then I could be with my beloved Althea. Who Althea? I have fallen in love with Althea, Philikin's daughter, but I'm afraid her father will not let her marry someone of St. Cuthbert. I would gladly convert to the old faith for her, for she is my one true love. You go club her overhead. I think Jeru in the Grove could perform the conversion. I am too busy to leave. Would you be willing to go and ask Jeru? 
I'd be so happy if I could convert. I think the townsfolk would accept us much better as well. Me make you like Jeru. Worship round woman god. Thanks so much. I would really appreciate it. Me want no more things. Me ask... You see bad guys? Not recently, but I hear rumors there may be someone close by. I hope not here in Homlet. Me ask more? Uh, bye. Hmm. Okie dokie. Yes. We're back outside. Center on us, and then... Okay, so where the hell is this Jeru dude? Alright, so we're kind of going off the map here. What's going on? I missed spot. Come on, people. It's not that hard. Tracking skill will help you determine where foes are on the map in relation to your current position. Well, cool. Girl and druid. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's try to not screw this up, so we'll give it to the paladin once more. Ooh, he's a druid, though. Maybe a fellow druid. Green peach should be the one. Greetings, friend. Hello, I'm Green Pea. I'm Jaru Ashstaff. I'm a druid of the old faith, and one of the spiritual leaders of this community. One of the spiritual leaders? Who else is here? A temple dedicated to St. Cuthbert has been built north of here. The canon Turgent resides there, serving his own spot. Is that a problem? Those of the old faith seek a balance in all things. We tolerate all other religions and do not oppose their presence. Oh, well, good to know. If I may, I have a few more questions. How can I help you, my daughter? I'm going to ask about the old faith. What <clears throat> you would know? Can you perform a conversion to the old faith from St. Cuthbert? Yes, I could perform such a conversion but only with the consent of Turgent from the Church of St. Cuthbert. There must remain a balance. Okay, so now I need the... I gotta get the consent from the other priest to do the thing so the guy can get married. Okay. What, yes, daughter. What is the old what faith, even though I'm a druid and I totally know this? Oweth's natural fertility has inspired our devotion. Our druidical order was derived from the ancients and has evolved into a natural state of unity promoting the prosperity of the entire world. Yes, daughter. Which Does god do know? you worship? We worship Biori, mother goddess of Oerth, and manifestation of the will of Oerth itself. Yes, daughter. What is it you... Um, How can I help you, my daughter? Donations are accepted. Here is one gold. Thank you, my daughter. All right, so now I got to talk to the other person. Okay. Hello again. Uh, that was a mistake. I thought it was time to girl. Hello again. Wait, if you're the druid. The girl Hello is again. the dude, or is this a glitch? Oh, well, I guess I'm not talking to her. Bye bye. Well, so I need to. Yes. 
The village home one has me running around doing a whole bunch of little errands. Hey, look, sheep. Alright, so. Let's go to the town map. The church. Let's go to North Homewood. Yep. So let's hop in there and talk to that dude, Turgeon. So you can give a permission slip, so the conversion, so the people can get married, etc. Alright, where's Turgeon? Yes. The stairs, right? Oh wait, this one's downstairs. I already, I already dealt with all this. Me go. You want to go up the stairs? Okay. All right, there you are. So I'll let the uh, paladin talk to the cleric. Welcome back to the church. <clears throat> Sir, may I ask you some other questions? How can I help you? I have some questions about performing conversions to St. Cuthbert. I can perform conversions here in my church, providing the willing convert who can prove worthy in the eyes of St. Cuthbert. Actually, I need to talk to you about converting from St. Cuthbert. The carpenter's brother would like to convert to the old faith, but Jeru said I should talk to you first. Blasphemy! That cannot be allowed. What if I could arrange from someone of the old faith to convert to St. Cuthbert? Would that be a fair trade, then? I suppose that might be fair. There is a villager I've been trying to get to convert for some time now. Jack Borton, the leather worker. If you could convince him to convert, I might be willing to let Merrick go. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now I'm running around on another errand, so I'll go talk to Jack. So, the leather worker. Uh-huh. As you wish. Alright, so let's mark off so we have it on the map. That's where we are. Church of St. Cuth. town this guy lives in. Wow, we were we were there there in Jeru and Jeru is the one who needed to do the cure. Oh well good news is we were not that far away right now. We can just ask. Right, there we go. Everybody, come on. Come on, people, let's go. Yeah, this first part of the game is not exactly action packed. Lots of little side quests. In fact, I may just run off and look for random encounters just to break up the constant Migo dat. fetch quests and relationship building and other crap we're dealing with. All right, Green Pea. You are the party spokesman. I love how he's the girl and the guy. That seems like a glitch. Hopefully not one that's going to break part of the game. I'd like to ask you a few more questions. I am in need of healing. My daughter. What are your healing needs, my daughter? I need to remove disease. Who will be in need of the removed disease? Nobody. What are your healing needs, my daughter? Hmm. Hello. 
Hello again. Can we talk about Amy? Yes, daughter. What is it? Taryn mentioned a full heal to cure her. I wish it were so. If a mere healing spell would have cured her ailment, then I would have healed her long ago. Believe me, I have tried everything within my power. Still, I have one path yet untried. Perhaps you could aid me in this endeavor? Well, what could I do to help? I once read about a healing powder that could be made from the swamp lotus. I believe this powder will heal her. The problem, of course, is that I have not seen a swamp lotus in many, many moons. They have become quite rare. I fear too rare. If you manage to find one of these flowers, then please bring it to me immediately. <clears throat> okay, Jeru, I'll keep an eye out for this flower. Okay, so this has once again become even more complicated. Yes. All right. Dialogue history. So, Jack Borton, the leather worker. Okay, so we need to find the leather worker. Druid Jeru. Perfect. All right. Oh, look, it's the drunk. Which yes. home was this again? Or was this that? Hmm. How are you, madam? Hi, I'm Greenpea. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Althea. I'm afraid you have entered a house of sorrow. Althea, you're the one Merrick would like to marry. I'm trying to work out something for you. Good luck. Althea, so she's, this is the house of sorrow. I don't want no city folk around here. Please leave me be. Gwyneth says you need a new barn. Well, you can tell Gwyneth to mind her own business. If that lazy good for nothing husband of hers would stop using up all our barn space, we wouldn't be needing any new barns. That sounds good, Philikin, but the fact that Remains that you two are both excellent farmers and you've outgrown this whole shared barn thing. Fat remains, I ain't be getting a new barn. I get out of here. Scram! How rude. I am certain. So, this is where Althea lives, so. Make sure to make a note of that. All right, well, you know what? I am gonna stomp around the map a little bit just to see if we can get, my adventurers need some adventure. So we're just gonna stomp over here to the meadows. Ooh, and there's three lizard men. Hell yes, we wanna fight them. All right, it's time for some good old fashioned combat. Oh, first up in the initiative order is our paladin, Mr. Swordwraith. He will, of course, Advance and engage. As you wish. Gregor will, as the healer for the moment, he's going to stand back. As you wish. This is only a couple of three lizardmen. And he is going to do a tactical. He is going to ready versus approach. Yes. Brother Gruck, you need to get in people's faces and kung fu them. Me go that. Uh, next up is Sovrak. He can start with the range, so. Shoot! Right away. 11 hit points. Not bad.
and might as well finish this guy off. I can do this. Thunk. He would if he could. Gabriel has, is my reach fighter. Let's go ahead and get you yes. in position. Just and now I'm gonna hit you. Whack. Okay. All right, Winston the Wizard. He might. Okay, this guy only has four hit points left. Let's see what we can do with a little magic missile. Yes, sir. Bam! Oh wow, he has one hit point left. Great. And uh, well, we're just gonna move back a little bit. Yes, sir. keep you out of harm's way. All right, Green P, sling this guy to death. Or you could miss. All right, we're back up at the top of the round. Sword Wraith. At your service. Don't you love first level characters? They love missing. All right, Gruck. Yeah. Kill that guy. Good, good. If you insist. Shoot him. Dead. Can do this. Lots of missing. I, I gotta love it. Yes. All right. As you wish. Whack. And these lizard men aren't gonna be around much longer, are they? After one. All right, Green Pea. Uh, slam. Yes, right away. Okay. Miss. Whack. And we are the champions. All right, let's just search some bodies real quick. By the God's will. Many. Sure. By the God's Many. will. And okay. More money. That's all they had was money. But we like money, and we'll take it. Also, a tiny bit more experience points for a giant party. Leveling up is going to be slower with this many people, assuming they still do the whole divide thing. <clears throat> All right. So we used one whole spell. Gregor took a little bit of damage, but the nice thing about being the cleric is he can heal himself. So... Gregor, you're a Gregor. And you need to cure light wounds yourself. Okay. All right. And now we can go back to the map. Go back to the meadows. I don't know if there's anything else around here to find. We kind of stomped around this place and saw everything there was to see, I think. In fact, the, the rest icon looks like it's good, so. Hey, there's a freaking bear over here. What's up, bear? And a hill giant. We needed it. Okay. Interesting. This hill giant could easily wipe us out. So if we just kind of walk in here. Yeah, we're instantly in a fight. So... You know, we did need to get a giant. So we got a. 
horribly dangerous bear and incredibly dangerous for a first level character is going after a 120 hit point hill giant. There is no way this is going to happen. So prepare to watch me get slaughtered, but let's just give it our best shot anyway. So Garen here is our rogue. He will... Start over here and then shoot the bear. I can do this. And miss the bear. Gabriel, you have one job. That I can Stab. And all right, we already have our first dude drop from one entire swing. That's not great. Gruck, kill the bear. Yeah. All right, Gregor, you need to do healing shit. Right away. Yay. Shoot the bear. Okay. Um Okay. Rear Frost. Which I can't do. Alright, never mind. Just shoot the bear with an arrow. Okay. Uh, it is Greenpea's turn. I think she needs to do some magical stuff, like maybe distract this hill, this hill giant with a wolf right behind him. Mercy! Oh God! All right, yeah. Well, as you can see, my characters are being horribly killed by this encounter, so this is... Yes. We're going to be going back to a... a actually, we're probably going to go back to the autosave, because everyone's dying. Yeah, taking on this hill giant was an incredibly stupid thing to do, but I knew that going in, which is why... We did it the way we did it. So if we just walk up here, do burning hands just for the hell of it. Die! Sawbrack is going to be smart enough to take his uh, five foot step away from this thing. Of course. So he can then shoot it in the face. Okay. Before he falls over dead. Yes, sir. She's dead. He is also going to take a five foot step back. I can do this. And shoot it in the face. Yes. Look, look, the bear is almost dead. However, that doesn't help this group full of dead people. No! Alright. So yes, as you can see, that didn't work out so great. So actually, I'm going to just go to the auto save. When we first showed up, because that encounter is bullshit as far as we're concerned. We're gonna need to level up a little bit before we can do anything like that so instead let's just stomp our way back to a different location let's go to Declo Grove and let's just see if we run into random encounters which we did oh a bear but this time just one bear so we have a slight chance of survival <laughs> alright what do we got we got 
the druid. So what she can do is she can take a step over to the side. Okay. And I went slightly too far. Crap. I really watch her moving on this thing. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Gregor the cleric, who is not at full hit points, also step forward to the side okay. and. Your minor wounds on himself. Alright, Winston, you need to hang back. Yes, sir. And simply shoot at this thing. Yes, sir. And you miss. Of course you do. Alright, it's Gabriel's turn. Get up in its yes. face. You know what to do. Gruck. Be gone. Um. And Garen. Step over to the side. I can do this. And shoot this guy. I can do this. And of course you miss. Sovrak. Go ahead and take your shot. Of course. Some damage. Cool. And our paladin. Yeah, the bear actually freaking missed. All right, Green Pea. What you're going to do is you're going to summon nature's ally and put a wolf yes, up his sir. butt. Uh, who's up? All right, so we've got uh, Gregor now. to hang back. Ready versus approach. Wolf missed. That was useful. Just shoot at the bear. Hit the bear. Yes. Uh, we're wailing on this thing. I am certain. By the God's will. Well, there are two of my guys dropped but are not dead yet. Yes, sir. Just a little bit of time to reduce this thing down and heal my guys. Um Gregor's got his hit points. Does he risk? No, he does not. He is going to hold back and just ready. Yes. Sh I shoot the bear. Stab the bear. Yes. Shoot the bear. Yes. Right away. Now. Whack. No. All right. No, I said no. You hang back. We've got three hit points left in this yes. guy. We can take him. And we did. All right, so let's heal some people. Gregor needs to cast his healing mojo, especially on Grok. Green pea. Oh. So, um, I guess what we'll do is just do a heal check just to make sure they're not dying. Will do. Heal succeeded. So he's just unconscious. And then he'll check on. Okay. Heal 
don't fail. Well, you suck. Okay, you do your heal check. Ungor. As you wish. Succeeded. Okay, so they're at least stable. And let's see if we can get them the rest of the way back to town. I made it. Thank goodness. We can haul everybody into into bed and heal them up. I can do this. I can do this. So our guys got chewed up like Leo DiCaprio, but now we can rest until healed. Again until morning. So we're just taking our sweet time around here. By the God's will. Me go. Alright, where are we at? Experience climb is very, very slow. Be nice if we could achieve some of these side quests. <clears throat> so, the leather worker. Okay. Yes, marker flags are great. I don't know what this place is, but nobody's in it. And you're the blacksmith. Alright, let's see. Let's look at the map. Next book, the main right in. As you wish. What the hell are you? Hello, I'm Garen. Nice to meet you, Garen. I'm Otello, and this is my son here, Gunther. I'm afraid our little farm is having a tough time competing with some of the larger ones around here. You gotta love the way people talk. It's a real shame there. The village seems to be growing now. I think some of that new business is cutting to my farm business, if you know what I mean. But we're working on a plan so I can keep my family fed. Good to meet you, and good luck. Okay. Atello and Gunther. Yes. All right. Let's And there's barn. <clears throat> there is. Go check this out. Service. <clears throat> hey, Todd. Yeah, Toey. I've never played this game before. Yes. Miller, servant, and a farm dog. So let's talk to the miller. Yes, sir. 
<clears throat> Hi, my name's Winston. What can I do for you? Nothing. Then please run along, Will Winston. The mother looks away from you. Oh. Happy to meet you. Hello there, my name's Garen. He's frowning with his hands. Um, nice to meet you. Why are you so nervous? I have to tell the miller something and he's not gonna like it. And what's that? I haven't been going to church sermons. I really like the priests and what they have to say about St. Cuthbert and I want to convert. Why is that such a problem? The miller will kill me. He and the missus are old faith and he's always going on about being a pillar of the community here. How will it look if I switch to the new church? Want me to talk to the miller? Would you please? I don't want to get fired. He's got such a temper, you know. Yes, everybody knows that strangers wandering in and talking about your work situation will solve everything. Mitch. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, perhaps you can answer a few more questions? Can I talk to you about this guy whose name was I didn't even ask? My servant? Speak up, man. He wants to convert to the Church of St. Cuthbert. What? I will hear nothing of it. What will people say if I, the town miller, let members of my own household turn away from the faith? I don't know what they'd say. Well, I'll tell you. They'll say that miller doesn't wear the pants in that family. I refuse to discuss this. Tell Ert Lura he will derain the old faith as long as he wants to live and work here. Won't you reconsider? No. Get out of here. Well, that was a super... About the miller. <laughs> I could lie. Now I haven't got to agree yet. Oh, all right. I know you're doing your best. Goodbye, Garen. I will go now. All right, so that's the miller. So we have somebody who wants to convert. He won't put up with it. So let's lock the miller. Miller and servant here. Continue our way to mind the business of every single damn person in this burg. Okay. Cow herd, okay. Sovereign, okay. And we have a man and a man, so we'll talk to you. Hi, right, what? Hello there. I'm Sovrak, adventurer passing through town. And what do you do? My sons and I run a dairy here, and we turn most of the milk into cheese. Let's barter. I have nothing to sell. What little cheese that is not sold at the passing merchant caravans is purchased by traders and innkeepers. Go see them if you want any. Oh. Well, thanks for nothing, then. Okay. I see all this cheese on the table. Yeah. She's the one who does all the talking. Wait. Okay. There's a dude in here, too. Oh, he's also equally useless. Okay. Sure. All right, so we're okay. going to leave here. And that was the cow herd. Cows and cheese. Do, 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 do. Okay. In a minute, I'm going to go seeking yet more random encounters just because running all these errands for all the different villagers is exhausting. Alright. Teamster. Yes, what is it? Hello, I'm Winston. What can I do for you? Change my mind. So, oh, so I'm not, I'm not even supposed to be here yet. Okay. As you at once. Yes, sir. Can we please leave? 
Okay. All right, so. The Teamster. Teamster. Great. And that's about my threshold for there. Let's let us uh, seek some adventure on the world map, even if we just wander back and forth between. I don't want. I don't. I don't think we should take on the moat house until we hit second level. So, well, we killed one bear. Let's kill another bear. All right, it is bear murder in time. Uh, who is first? Sovrak. He will step back over here and shoot the bear. If you insist. Nice. All right. Next, we have our cleric Gregor, who will uh, again kind of step over to the side because he's the healer. Next up, we have Green Pea. What if she could entangle this bear and keep him from charging us? Then we can use distance on him. Uh, Gruck, you're gonna have to... Um, Come up here, and then you're just going to ready versus approach. Alright, Winston. You're a nice far way back. Why don't you just uh, shoot him? Yes, sir. Um, so much for Entangled. Garen, shoot him. Yes. Alright, Gabriel. Let's do this. Charge forward, yes. and yeah, we need damage now in a big way. As you wish. Sure. Got him down to almost half hit points already. You stay in reserve. Yes, sir. Well, your entangled didn't do a whole lot against a bear, okay. but at least you throw a rock. Let's see. It is Gruck's turn, Gruck. Okay. Um. Of course. Ow. How badly? All right, so he's already down to negative one. That's not. Great. Yes. All right, Gabriel. Whack him. He's still only at like a half hit points. Okay. <laughs> That's my phone, by the way. Um, what you're gonna need to do is get closer. Damn it. Just run all the way back. Alright, Green Pea. Um, let's distract him with another creature. We will summon the wolf right here. Winston, magic. Magic missile, this bear. Of course. Boom. And then, yeah, you're done. Well, 
actually, you can kind of move away from the group a little bit. Yes, sir. And you're done. Oh, good. The f summoned wolf is drawing fire, which is exactly what we wanted. Yes. Thunk. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're missing all the time. Yes. Of course. Alright, I need you to heal my dude. Try not to die. Will do. Yes, sir. Oh, great. All right, Gruck. Why can't Gruck move? Oh, because he's entangled. Why didn't she just? Oh. F well, that's really annoying. Just shoot him. Of course. Yes. Yes. Right away. Oh, thank goodness. All right, bear is dead. No loot on the bear. Okay. And okay, so we can now. Gregor can heal By the, the power. Will. Heal up after, you know. I can do this. After barely escaping that encounter. You're welcome. Yes. Alright, uh, we want to just do a quick party heal up roll. Until healed. And then, of course, until morning. It's nice thing about having unlimited resting over here. Right away. Everybody can get a nice fresh start. Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> See what other trouble we can get into. Let's look at the map real quick. So from where we're at. Make our way up here. Come on, party. Just an archery target. Guard, guard. Right away. All right. Right click. Guardsman, guardsman. So, how about we let the polite paladin speak? Greetings. Yes. Oh. So, there's like nothing interesting in here after all? Just. Oh, wait. Jeweler. Nice to meet you, friend. My name is Alexander Swordwraith. 
Welcome, Alexander Swordwraith. I am Nira Milub, the town jeweler, and I would be happy to buy and sell gems and jewelry of all kinds. I am surprised to see such a fine shop in such a small town. I wanted to retire from the big city, but not my profession. My small store here in Homelt allows me such a luxury. What city was that? Come now, sir. Do you want to be bored with the droll details of my life? Or should I just see some more of my wares? I wouldn't be bored. I am interested. Sir, if I may be blunt, my past is personal. Unlike my neighbors here in Homelt, I do not reveal my innermost secrets to passers-by. Oh, wow. He really is unusual. Nor do I ask strangers to perform tasks for my benefit. I am just a simple shopkeeper. Now, would you like to trade? Sure. Well, do I need to buy jewelry? No. Do I want to sell jewelry? Probably not, because I don't know that I have any. Ladies, ring discarded from J. Huh, yeah, so. One day, perhaps, knowing you will be useful. Okay. But it's a thing to mark on the old map. So let's go to the town map. And that was the jeweler. What's this place? At your service. Oh. They're just the two. Okay, I'm really I'm really bright. It was just the two doors this time spot. The so the guards are there to guard the jewelry. They're not they're his guards. Got it. Alright, well that's the jeweler. Okay. Uh no. Yes, sir. I click search spells okay yeah there's a whole crowd of people in here all right all right sword wraith do your thing welcome friend to the Hummer trading post I am Ron of Stavel. how may I help you gotta love the voice acting <clears throat> I could use some extra help are you hiring anyone out my man at arms here, Raymel, is for hire. I could let you have him for 20 gold, with an additional 160 gold for a suit of chain mail for him. 180 gold pieces total for the hire. I'll have to think about that. Welcome back. Maybe. Friend. What do you have to offer for trade today? Surely. Alright, let's barter. Do you have anything I give a shit about, is the question. Metal Orcus Shield, that's kind of cool. Um, what do you got? Merchant Scale. Armor Oil. Bottle of Distilled Acid. Eruptive Acid. Eyeglasses. Lock Slip Grease. Oh, that's not cool. map I'm just gonna crawl okay. around this town and then every once in a while I'll just run around looking for random encounters because there's somebody in here oh excuse me sir I do not Okay, if you'd like to barter here, you need to speak with our owners, Ranos or Grimag. Who's speaking? I don't even know. I'm sure, I'm just living in town looking to get to know the townsfolk. Do you live here? Yay! Okay, that was a super useful conversation. I'm really, really glad we had it. It was... It's just... Yeah. 
Super useful. Okay. At your service. Hmm. And then there's the church. Let's go talk to this guy. Off my land, stranger. I'll not be tolerant. Hey, what a dick. Of you. Is this your ring? Great mother. My wife's ring. Where did you find it? I found it in the Declo Grove in the gullet of a giant spider. You ought not to hear about such things, Black Jay. Your grief is punishment enough. Oh, oh, please, please let me have it. I have enchanted arrows, elven boots, or an elven cloak. Enchanted arrows, elven cloak. Oh. Elven cloak. Hmm. I could do the super nice, useful thing, but I could also get an elven cloak. Thank you. Thank you. This ring is the only thing I have of hers. It's my only thing. Oh, well, I managed to complete one quest item. Good day. What do you want so to So where know? is your wife? I was like you once. All cocky and sure of myself. I went out seeking fame and riches, but all I got was despair. I have nothing. I was in the war, you know. The damn temple war. I thought it would be great adventure. That I would kill off evil and be famous when I returned. But I... Everyone was dead. My wife and children were slain by rape. There was no one here to defend them. I was wrong to go. I was arrogant and I paid for it. Damn. And the gods are not done with me yet. Even now my sheep die off. They show not a mark on them, but each day I find another dead. I even <laughs> built my fence higher. Just gonna say. To no avail. Hmm. Now that's something I can help you with. I will find out what is really happening. I will come to you as soon as I know anything. All right, so that would be a um, a quest. That one was botched. A ring for Black J, which I completed. Why are our sheep dying? Okay, well that's a thing we could maybe one day help with. After we loot your okay. house. Woof. Well, it turns out Black J, the farmer, doesn't have shit. Okay. All right, well, let's mark it on the map anyway. Black J is sad, y'all. Just 
percent cover it here. Hmm. threshold for not having random encounters so let's just uh, save real quick and let's stomp her in a little bit more and see if we can get in some trouble because no other locations have opened up to us just yet other than the moat house and I don't want to I think that it's too soon to head out there Another fucking black bear. I said avoid, didn't I? Whoops. That's sort of the opposite of what I was trying to do. Um. Kobolds? Oh, hell yes. Time for some random encounters. Little kobolds, all flat-footed and six hit points each. What do we got now? Garen goes first. He is going to step slightly back to the side and shoot I am certain. this one. Yes. Boom. All right, Gruck, you were born for this. Let's run up there and whack him. Okay. MP. This is why Entangle was invented. Okay. I'm up. Gregor. You can jump down here for a second and just simply ready for approach. Okay. Winston, you step back a little bit. These little bastards can be dangerous and just shoot one. Okay. Gabriel. And a sword wraith. This needs to step up and get ready to fight. At your service. 